been joined in studio by Dr. Gabriel Ganyaglo. He's an obstetrician and also a gynecologist and a fistula surgeon. I want to find out how bad or serious this issue of fistula is. Good afternoon, sir. Thank you for your time. Good afternoon, and thank you for having me. Yeah, to start with, how serious is the condition fistula? Yeah, the seriousness of fistula is partly in the numbers that we continue to see and also to the extent of the hum humiliation and dehumanizing conditions that the patients go through. Currently in the country, we are seeing close to 1,300 new, new cases of fistula every year, according to our statistics. And uh, the numbers that are already existing is difficult to count. Now, you heard from the story you shared that the living children of this patient were being mocked. Mm -hmm. So these are normal children, no crime at all, but their mother has fistula and they are suffering the aftermath. Mm. The patient herself is often rejected and cannot go among human beings. They are treated at arm's length. So if you want to talk about the seriousness, the psychological trauma of the individual is a major uh, impact on her health and quality of life that you cannot begin to quantify. Is, looking at how seriously you've described the seriousness of it, are there programs to help address these concerns? Yes, we, uh, the Ghana Health Service, with the support of the UNFPA, conducted the prevalence study where we actually try to estimate the burden of disease. Currently, we have a strategic program to end fistula in Ghana by 2021. So there is a document to that effect, and we have a policy brief that is to educate uh, particularly policymakers and parliamentarians on fistula. We have also engaged the media every year mm -hmm. for the past um, five or six years once the International Day to End Obstetric Fistula comes, which is 23rd of May uh, every year. So we do engage the media and try to create awareness. The challenge as we have come to find it is funding. Mm -hmm. It costs money to bring the patient from wherever they are as they cannot just come to hospital. Right. It costs money to treat them while they are in hospital. And even after treatment, they still suffer significant stigma. They are not easily accepted back into so, the so community. So since you started the project, uh, and it can be very brief for me, since you started the project, are people becoming more aware and are the numbers you're recording reducing? As long as we mount a campaign anywhere in this country, we find more patients. So it's difficult to tell whether they are reducing. What is disheartening, though, is the new cases that keep coming up. It still presupposes that our women are still uh, delivering probably outside health facilities and their labors are not being attended by people with skill. Mm. The key is to identify when labor is obstructed and send the patient off to a hospital for an emergency So it's infection. preventable, oh, is it? Very much so, very preventable. And I will always say that family planning is a very cheap and easy way to prevent fistula because once a pregnancy is prevented and the person or girl is allowed to grow well enough into adulthood, mm. it's less likely that fistula will develop. Okay. We've been speaking with uh, Dr. Gabriel Ganyaglo. He is an obstetri obstetrician, gynecologist, and a fistula surgeon at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital.